So grade 11, in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at vectors in 2D, forces in equilibrium, and let's see the question that we have to matter. Ra. Now we have question 2. It says a pulley system is used to keep a crate of mass kg, m kg stationary, as shown on the diagram below. Now we can see that we have um, a word there in bold stationary now as a physical science student what comes to mind when you see the word stationary so we said stationary means that the forces are at equilibrium so your forces are at equilibrium what does forces at equilibrium mean it means that all your forces are balanced in other words if you have an upward force like that and a downward force like that they are equal and then if you have a left force with your right force they are also equal right so that what it means your forces are balanced your forces are at equilibrium now okay let's see 2.1 it says define the term resultant vector so we have done that multiple times now let's check check quap quap fast so uh, this is a single vector that has the same effect as two or more other vectors acting together so you never forget that one that's your free two marks then 2.2 says calculate the vertical and horizontal components of t2 so we already know that now checking t2 we can see that it has been acted at an angle and the angle comes from the x-axis the positive x-axis in the right position so remember we only resolve forces that have been acted at an angle now let's go and calculate now you will remember that um for your vertical component we say t2 let's name it t2y so for your vertical component we have the formula f sine theta then your force your force here we've been given what we've been given two we've been given 245 so as you can see here t2 um, it is being pulled by this rope downward but the force is really exerted here right the the force is being exerted at an angle there the same thing with t1 t1 is being pulled downward here but the force is really exerted to the left right so now we have the force is 245 acted at an angle so um we have 245 sine 245 sine 30 degrees right so if you punch that in your calculator it gives you 122.5 newtons right now let's go and calculate the vertical component so for the vertical component we have t2 x right then for that one we have f cos theta so never forget this formulas they are never given so you have to know them by heart so 245 cos 30 degrees now if you punch that in your machine way below your calculator this is 212.18 newtons and that's how you have your solutions like that um, now let's move to the next question it says calculate the magnitude of t1 2.2.2 .2, the magnitude of t1 so for that one we're gonna try to resolve this um draw our vector diagram here to show the forces acting in here now remember upward there we have resolved this one t2 it's in the first quadrant so this is our ty and then going all the way there that's our tx right so this is ty and this is tx for um two right for t2 then this side to the left that's t1 remember we said it's being pulled downward here by this rope but the force is exerted to the left so that's t1 and then down here we have our gravitational force so we know our gravitational force is always acting downward right so now to calculate uh, t1 remember we said uh, we have a keyword the stationary which we said it means that the forces are at equilibrium left forces equal to right forces so in other words to get your magnitude of t1 for the two marks you just simply need to know that this force 
is equal to this force here. So now you have T1, therefore T1 is equal to, what is the magnitude of T1? It's the same magnitude that we got for T2x, which is 212.18. 212.18 newtons and that's how you have the magnitude of t1 so you can indicate here just um before the 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 solution you can just you can just indicate that t1 is equal to t2x and just have your solution like that um let's move 2.2.3 says calculate the mass m of the crate so remember we we are not given the mass of the crate. We were just given M, which is an unknown value. So now we know also uh, forces in equilibrium stationary. That means your upward force is equal to your downward force. In this case, that means your T2Y is equal to your FG. So remember, we have to extract the mass from FG, the gravitational force. So now we go here. This is 2.2.3. So we have t2y is equals to the gravitational force right but remember what is the value that we got there um for t2y it was um one two two so let's erase here so the value was one two two point five then our fg remember it's mg your mass times the gravitational acceleration so it's 122.5 is equal to the mass times your gravitational acceleration which is 9.9.8 .9 then if you divide both sides by 9.8 divide both sides by 9.8 you have your mass is 12.5 kg and that's how you could have murdered the question first degree matter on this physical science questions, rah!